Well, hello, ladies. How you doing this evening? Hmm? Miss Karen's getting your grub ready. We'll be right with you. You all ready for your dinner? Are you? You all ready for your dinner? Come on. Come on. Get your dinner. Get your dinner for me. Oh, there's a bunch on the inside right here. You're not even seeing them. Oh, I know. I'm looking at a dozen right along the hedge around. Hey, ladies. Hi. Sorry, I'm just going to pick up the bucket. They can't hold it in. We're good. Oh, the little mister there is grunting. Was he? Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Oh, come on now. There's plenty to eat. You don't have to play that game. <laughs> These two little misters. Thinks he's large and in charge. It's a pileated woodpecker. Did you hear him? Yes. He must have just discovered he can grunt. He's really being aggressive for some reason. All the big bugs are gone. He thinks he's in charge. Some of these big does start feeling the pregnancy, he's going to find out he's in charge. <laughs> they get irritable and short-tempered.
there's eight or ten down the hedgerow. Just walked off a little bit. This young guy's playing nice with everybody. Yes, he is. There's still a half dozen more over there. That, uh, here comes another one. <coughs> Sharpie. Third one from the right. See the way that the base of the man is. CSJ or Spirit. We were here yesterday. I can't really see the viewfinder at this angle. I hope I got him. Probably didn't focus on him so little. Well. He's up in the tree, <laughs> up in the stall tree. Come on, y'all, clean up, don't we? Here we go, there he is. I <laughs> didn't like it. It's a little piece of lousy photography, but it should, should sound like a hummingbird anyway. It's about two feet from my head, less. Probably less, yeah. It's right there. 
He wasn't crazy about the camera. Mm -hmm. Bet you he'd eat out of the handheld feeder, though. He was coming that close. Wonder if we'll get the migration this year. I think they already got them if they were coming. Seems like the more numbers for migration is in the fall when they're coming back south. Seems like we get more in the fall than the spring. As far as transients. It's been a couple of years now. We used to get hundreds of hummingbirds at a time. Literally had to fill the feeders four or five times a day. And I'm talking big 16 ounce feeders, had three of them and had the little tube feeders, the little two ounces, had one on each window. So I had three, four, and another four is eight. Yeah, I mean, had a bunch of feeders and they'd go through it like crazy. You could stand and hold the feeder and it'd feed right out of your hand. We have old video of, of hummingbirds on every feeder and then they're stacked up waiting to come in behind the one that's currently feeding. We really should take a look, see if we can find some of the old footage. Some of it's already on YouTube, I just don't remember why. <laughs> We've got well over 300 videos on YouTube. And if you're interested in attracting hummingbirds, you do not have to buy the, the store-bought food. It's overpriced and they put the coloring in it, which is not healthy for the birds. You just make a solution of sugar water. And basically in the summertime when you're feeding them, it's one cup of sugar and four cups of water, or one to four. And in the fall when it starts to be cool nights, or if you have them come in the winter like we do, then you cut it to three to one. One parts of sugar to three parts water and just boil it in real good, cool it off and you got it. They don't require it to be tinted red to feed. They don't care if it's colored or not, their feed. And it's better for them without that artificial coloring. We call it hummingbird juice, but if it's you're running... Simple syrup. I will say, if you're running a bar, it's simple syrup. Mm. What am I looking at on the other side of the hedge there? It's gone now. It might have been Bailey, big black. I don't see it. I see something moving. Um, uh, <laughs> that's a deer. <gasps> Hi, sweetie. Come on. There's still food out. You're not too late. Maybe I was just looking at the dark side of the deer. The side that wasn't yeah, in the here sunshine. Comes the second one. It's there. She's just nailed the hedgerow. And a third. Certainly no dog out there. No. And a fourth. Oh, this girl's so pretty. I love her colors. You can really see the difference in the coloration with these two. Look how white these girls are compared to her. Hey, come on now. Not a lot. Don't make me come out there. <laughs> ah, ah. 
you stop that. There's us, Jay. Hey, baby. Hey, you this too. Ah, ah, knock it off. That girl ain't gonna put up with it. He really thinks he's in charge. He tries that with SJ here, find out who's in charge. She definitely won't put up with it. We've seen her act before. Here it comes back. SJ, you can never hear it straighten this boy out. <laughs> there you go. Another one running through the trail there, running through the hedgerow. Did you see him? Her? A big bird. I mean, it was big wingspan. Pterodactyl. Maybe. No, it wasn't a vulture and it wasn't a hawk. I don't know, sweetie. Didn't look like a herring or an eagle. It was big, wide wingspan. Of course, it's a time of year where we occasionally see sand hill cranes. It could have been one of them. If so, we should be seeing more. It was that big, the wingspan. Yes, it's 
people who watch the videos would never understand how much you see here that doesn't make it on video. <clears throat> doesn't make it on video. Like we're a long way from the ocean and that whole hundreds of laughing gulls that went over the other day. Oh, that was incredible. I couldn't believe it. But it definitely was laughing gulls. And it was a major flock of them. It had to be minimum low estimate of a couple hundred individuals and two separate flocks, but they were flying close together. It was amazing. Never seen anything like, quite like that. Never seen it here, that's for sure. Yeah, I say we, we understand, recognize the difference between most of the different gulls because we lived at the ocean for quite a while. But that, and you never... Once you hear a laughing gull, you know exactly what it is. But yeah, I'd never seen so many of them in one place. It was amazing. They, it's truly a sight in the open sky and, and they were booking wherever they were going. Just barely at our treetops. I mean, they were, they were cruising. And they were headed inland for no reason. Well, the storms were brewing. Remember we had that line of storms coming through? They came through the day after the storms. Oh, that's true. You're right. It was the day after. Whatever it was, it was quite a sight. I couldn't believe it. I had to call Dwight outside so he could verify. It's like, you're not going to believe this. You have to see it. Well, you friend just about everybody else off, so I guess we're going to call it a night. Mr. Aggressive here. Yeah. <clears throat> Rest of them have dispersed, but they're still milling around here a little bit. All right, let's take a little break. Maybe we'll put that half a watermelon out. Oh, they would love that. Set up the trail cam so we don't have to sit here and disturb them. They would love that. All right, y'all be good. Thank you for watching. And we really appreciate all your kind comments. Yes, we're still getting folks asking what happened to Bambi and look back a couple videos I forget what day exactly but we posted a lot, link to a lot of good reading material about how young males split from the herd in about a year and a half and what we think happened to Bambi was he hit the age where all young males hit the highway and went off to find his own herd it's it's pretty much normal for white-tailed deer, or deer in general, to to leave the herd. So apparently we raised him up right, and he's a healthy boy and did what he was supposed to do. And we do appreciate all the comments from people with their support. And um, some of you offered up information, which was greatly appreciated because it, it there reinforced what we thought was happening. We appreciate you taking the time to, to help us out with your knowledge. That's very kind. Yeah. Apparently, in about a year and a half, the females run the young bucks off, and they have to go out in the woods and find a new piece of forest and a new set of women. Create their own space and their own life. And he could be close, or he could be a hundred mile away. We really don't know, but I'd like to believe that he's healthy and happy wherever he's at. We did our best with him. At least he had had him here for a year and a half, over a year and a half. And we were able to share him with y'all. Now a lot of people love Bambi. He's 
famous around the world. <laughs> nope. Hi, well, good night, y'all. Night. Y'all be